Hey guys, welcome back to another week of at-home programming. Uh, it's Monday, we're ready to go, we're rested from a wonderful weekend, so let's get right into it, okay? On the warm-up, all right guys, we're gonna do two times through on the warm-up, we're gonna do 20 shoulder taps, okay? So again, left, right, left, right, each time you touch is one rep, okay? Then you're gonna go 30 second high knees, so in place, we're just gonna go touching high knees, boom, 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 getting those knees as high as you possibly can, getting that body move, warm and getting that heart rate up, okay? Then we're gonna do five yoga push-ups. We're gonna go down and we're gonna go all the way back up and go underneath the fence and then go all the way back up, really pausing at the top of that to stretch out the shoulders and the chest. Then 15 second hollow hold. Again, all we're looking for in the hollow hold is shoulders off the ground, feet off the ground. If you need to have your feet up higher, that's fine. And if you need to have your arms beside you, that's okay as well. 15 seconds on that hollow hold, two times through. All right, let's go into the first portion. We have two portions in our workout today, a chipper and then an AMRAP. On the chipper, you're gonna do 50 bent over rows, okay? You can have a dumbbell, you can do 25 on my right, 25 on my left, or break them up how you want, or you can have a plate and do the plate. You're just looking for 50 total bent over rows. All right, moving from the rows, we're then going to 75 hand release push-ups, okay? This is for RX individual. You'll go down, as your chest touches, you release your hands off the ground just slightly, just getting them up off the ground lightly, and then going back into the push-ups, okay? If you can't do hand release push-ups, do your normal push-ups, or you could even do hand release push-ups while on your knees as well. That's just making sure that we get all a full rep from the ground all the way pressed down, okay? So 75 hand release push-ups, we're going into 100 ground to overhead. Again, you can use a plate going from the ground to above your head, or you can use the dumbbell. Um, I prefer, I would prefer the ground or the, the the plate, or you can use a wall ball even as well. So use anything at your disposal that you have. Um, yeah. So after your ground overhead, you're, you, you'll do 125 single leg jumps. On the single leg jumps, you'll balance on one side and give yourself a target. If it's like the top of your garage, or if it's something on the wall, put a piece of tape up on the wall. You'll jump. Go ahead and face the camera. I want you to get on one leg and jump as high as you can to touch whatever uh, you have that you can that you can kind of give yourself a goal, maybe a couple inches above it, six inches above you. We're really looking for that explosive jump off of one leg. So I, I'm throwing in a little bit of a of a trick here in the in the chipper. You can break up the reps however you want. If you want to do 10 bent over rows, then 10 hand release push-ups, 20 of the ground overhead, and then 25 of the single leg jumps, that's fine. Break up however you want, but make sure that you complete all of the reps for time, all right? So after that, you're gonna rest for three minutes. Then you're gonna go into a nine minute AMRAP, all right? This nine minute AMRAP, we've only got two movements, all right? We've got 12 burpees, so we're bringing yourself down to the ground, coming right back up all the way, boom, just slight jump and get your hands above your head, that's fine, and then 24 candlesticks. 12 burpees into 24 candlesticks. On the candlesticks, put your hands underneath your body, right there or, or beside it. You go all the way up and you go all the way down. As you, as you get your feet up, you wanna give a little bit of a pop and then send them all the way back down. You don't need to touch the ground. I'm not looking for you to touch the ground with your heels each time. Keep them a little bit above the ground and then we're getting, trying to push those, heel, those toes up to the sky as high as you can, okay? That's AMRAP, so we're looking for rounds plus reps. That's how you'll score it. Um, you'll have two scores in Sugar Watch. Please post your scores, post your comments. I love comments. I love, I love to see details because I'm always checking it. I'm always looking into how you guys are doing. So please give me feedback. I love to see it, guys. Have a wonderful Monday. Uh, we miss you guys. Have a great day.